Assassin's Creed Syndicate Jack the Ripper. Some cool new features and some not so cool features. Jack the Ripper is a DLC with 10 main missions and a bunch of side activities. Much like the main game, in Jack the Ripper you play as two characters. This time as a much older Evie Fry and Jack the Ripper himself. The introduction to this DLC is great and sets up a great tone for a letdown of an experience. You start out the DLC as Jack the Ripper, just destroying everything in your path. This honestly should have been the DLC, playing the whole way through as Jack the Ripper. Put a primary focus on a fun and epic brute campaign, but this sadly isn't what we got. This DLC introduces a fear system. Both Evie and Jack have spikes and fear bombs that can scare enemies to make them nervous to not bother you or to occasionally kill each other. Jack the Ripper has a scream. This fear system comes in handy many times thanks to the boring don't kill anyone or don't get detected optional objectives. At first they're cool, but this gimmick gets old quick. You play back and forth between Jack and Evie. No one knows who this Jack the Ripper guy is, but everyone is pointing at Jacob and Evie. So she sets out to solve this mystery and clear their names. This DLC is more of the same you get in the main campaign, just not as fleshed out. You get a couple assassination missions and everything else is look at clues or do this without being detected. You'll go to a couple new locations not in the main game, but by locations I mean buildings, not towns or cities. This game only takes place in two sections of the original game, which brings me to the not so cool added feature. Lag. If you're on foot the whole time, you have nothing to worry about. But do any of the side activities involving a cart, and you'll notice an insane lag that makes PS2 era games look like they run like PS4 games, and texture popping problems. Not sure how a smaller standalone has issues keeping up compared to a much larger main game. Hopefully this gets patched quickly. Also added are new quests such as Lieutenant Hunts that are essentially Templar hunts with more targets, fight clubs and cargo based missions again, Jack the Ripper letters where you have to drive a carriage slowly and stealthily, and the game still can't keep up, tell the wrong Wrongly accused suspect escape, as well as brothel aka liberation missions with half naked women instead of children, and walk of shame missions where you have to shame a man that gets his jollies out of being abusive to prostitutes. That's basically it. You get a story with no payoff and slow paced boring side activities. There's just nothing worth seeing in this Jack the Ripper DLC. For what it is, an action adventure stealth game, 6.5 out of 10, and as an overall game, 6.5 out of 10. If you played Jack the Ripper, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching. Mm, where can I find that no one must ever know that I was an inmate here? Time to prepare for Miss Fry's arrival. Let's let the lunatics out for a stroll.